Are you looking for some simple crate plans? Steve Ramsey's got some great looking crates, but crates can be notorious for not holding much weight and they can be kind of time consuming. Today on DIY Man, we're gonna build his crates, but we're gonna build them faster and stronger. Let's start this project today by cutting up three one by eights to 11 and a half inches. Really for each crate we need two of these and then we need one for every two crates. Now let's set the inside edge of our table saw blade three quarters of an inch from the fence. Let's rip one of those boards into four three quarter inch pieces. We need four of them for each crate. You'll see what we're going to do with these in just a second. Let's mark three and a half inches from each side of those. Let's glue those edges all the way up to those lines. Next, we'll attach these to the top of our 1x8 using an 18 gauge brad nailer. Don't put any nails between those two lines. Now for that inner board, measure 3 and 7 eighths from each side. Next I'll use a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit to drill a hole right on the middle of that line in the center of that middle board. To avoid ripping out the back, I only drilled halfway through then I flipped it over and did the same to the other side. Now you should be able to just push this little piece of wood out. Now you have the perfect handle without having to use a jigsaw. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Before we move on, I'll use a 60 grit sandpaper to make these look like one solid piece. This next part's optional, but if you have a router with a quarter inch roundover bit, you can make these handles look really, really nice. I think I'll router the top and bottom edges too. Next, let's cut one of the beveled edges off of a 2x6. After that, let's set the inside edge of our table saw blade a quarter inch from the fence. After that, we're going to rip this board up into quarter inch strips. Now we need at least two of these for each crate, but you might find that you need more if your board has a lot of knots in it. Here's one of those knots. Obviously that's not going to be too strong. I won't use pieces like that on my crates. Next, for each of these crates, let's cut these pieces up into 10 18 inch pieces. I'm going to save a little bit of time and sand all these thin edges at the same time. Now, for each of these crates, let's cut a piece of half-inch plywood that's 11 and a half inches wide and 16 and a half inches long. You might find this piece easier to sand right now, too. I'll just use an 18 gauge brad nailer to assemble this thing. 
You can definitely use finishing nails and a hammer, but this is definitely the fastest way to go. It's really important to make sure this crate is square. I'll attach those strips of wood to the top and then the bottom and then I'll evenly space them in between. I wouldn't even worry about measuring the spaces, I would just eyeball it. You can see that this 18 gauge brad nailer saves a ton of time when putting these crates together. Crates are just one of those things that can be so time consuming. That's especially true when you're trying to use hand tools. Now I'll just do one final sanding job on these things. 120 grit sandpaper is a good grit to use. You don't have to go too fine on this stuff, it's just a crate. Now you can see that these sides are pretty thin, um, but the strength is really going to be vertical here. But the thing that really makes these crates strong is this bottom. Now you can carry something in these and not have to worry about the bottom falling out. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, you're really going to enjoy the next video. We're going to make a really cool looking piece of furniture out of four of these. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on that. And we'll see you next time.